What's up workout crew? Today we have a 20 mile trail training run to get through. But first, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's cue that intro. Down. What's up guys? Just like the intro said, I am running a 20 mile trail race today and I'm doing it out here at the Bull Creek Greenbelt Trail. It's one of the most rockiest, hilliest trails here in Austin, Texas. And I gotta put in some solid training for the Bandera 100K because the Bandera is really technical, really rocky and really hilly. So I gotta get some solid training in. Uh, to th this week started the ex aggressive training for the Bandera 100K. It is October 10th and I have three months until the 100K. And so I have to really start putting in some serious mileage. This week I'm putting in about 55 miles and every week I'm progressing up. I should be in the last week around 70, 75 miles, somewhere in there. Anyways, I'm a little cold. Sorry if my voice sounds shaky. Whew. Anyway, so we got 20 miles to get through today, but Today, I did something that I have never done. I bought a pair of Hoka Speed Goat 4s. Now, I am normally a lightweight shoe, low profile person. I like to fill the ground. I like running fast, uh, things like that. So the Hoka Torrent, uh, La Sportiva Helios, shoes like that have been my go-to. But lately on the road, I've been running in the Rincon 2 and the Carbon X, Hoka Carbon X, and those have quite a bit of cushion in them. And I've been really liking it. And when I do trail runs lately, once I get over 15 miles, having that lightweight, low profile, be able to feel the ground is not quite what I want under my foot. I've been kind of craving just to be able to cruise over the rocks and not really feeling them, especially on the long trail races or the long trail runs. You know, five miles, it's fun to be real nimble and to have not feel anything underneath your foot. But on these longer trail runs, I just want to cruise. And so like, it's time. I'm wanting to buy the Speed Goat. Let's try it out. So today I'm going to test out the Hoka Speed Goat. I'm going to post a little picture of what they look like here. Cause like, I don't want to show you my feet right now. It's kind of weird with the gimbal and stuff. But anyways, we're going to test out the Hoka Speed Goat. I'm going to show you guys about four miles this run. And then I'm going to put the camera down and really get after it. At the end of this training run, I'll give you guys a review of my first impressions of the shoes and what I liked. And then uh, give you a little recap about how my training has been going so far. Anyways, let's get after it. And, uh, Let's try out these shoes and have an awesome run. Let's go. Okay, putting the camera away and uh, let's get after it. What's up guys? I'm back in my car. I'm 10 miles into it, averaging about an 837 pace. Uh, kind of refilling my water bottle. Oh, and I didn't tell you guys, I am, where'd it go? Where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? For this run, I'm using Spring Nutrition. Um, and, well, I mean, in some of the other races, I, you guys know I've been using Spring Nutrition. But if this is your first time watching, using Spring Nutrition, taking in a gel about every four miles. All right, I fill up my water bottle and I'm gonna get back at it. Hopefully, the second half is as good as the first half. Laters. What's up, guys? Just finished. 20 miles done. 
average pace 841 was the average pace and i got in about 2100 feet of elevation gain so not too bad it got kind of hot in the last five miles i had to take a couple of little mini breaks heart rate was getting up really high and i wanted to run up all the hills for good training so i didn't want to have to walk any so i paused a little bit off and on but it was still good let me recover a little bit hamstrings are a little bit tight I get home i eat a little bit and then uh, we'll talk about i'll give you a quick review of the speed goat hoka 4 and then i'll also just just give you guys a little recap of my training all right let's get there what's up guys i am now home okay the 20 mile run is over like you heard earlier i averaged about an 841 pace which is perfect for where i am in my training so far um I have now recovered a little bit. I've eaten a little bit, had some oatmeal, uh, had my electrolyte drink. Okay, I'll go right into my review of the Speed Goat 4 first because if you're watching this video, good chance you're here because of that review. And then I'll go into how my training is going so far at the end of the video. All right, let's talk about the Speed Goat 4. Now, my first impressions. Now, I'm not gonna go over the specs of the shoe, like what the upper's like, what the soles are like. There's a lot of reviews of this shoe already on YouTube. I am just gonna give my first impressions and how I like the shoe. And then maybe after 50 miles, 100 miles, I'll give another quick update. But all right, first impressions of the shoe is awesome in gold, and then also a little meh at the same time. Okay, I, um, before I get into that though, let's kind of give my history of the type of shoes that I like. Now, right now I am running in the La Sportiva Helios. I like a narrow fit. I do not have a wide foot and I don't like wide toe boxes. I like to have that narrow fit. And in my past, I've been kind of a low profile, lightweight shoe person. I like the feel of the ground. But like you heard earlier, I've been, after about 15 miles, it's kind of not what I've been liking. And lately on road, I have started running in the Rincon 2 on my easy runs and long longer runs on road and then for my tempo road speed workouts i've been running in the carbon x as you can see it's a kind of a little bit of a higher profile similar to the hoka speed gelt but it's higher profile and i'm like okay well maybe i can now run in these high cushion shoes before in the past it was a bit annoying for me but maybe i'll like it now since my road shoes have a little bit more cushion in them okay now i have also been a fan of the hoka torrent one, I've even ran a hundred miler in this, but now that I'm trying to run faster paces, um, the forefoot is a little bit wide for me. I like to have a little bit snugger fit and running fast in the Hoka Torrent, my foot's just moving around a little bit too much in the shoe and it's causing me some ankle pains. I did try on the Torrent 2 and it was awesome. But I've already, I already have the Sportiva Helios and I already have a low profile shoe that's f working for me. So I'm like, I already have a shoe that's in that Torrent 2 category. So I decided not to get it. Anyways, let's talk about the Hoka Speed Goat 4. Now, I was a little scared about getting this shoe. One is because of the higher stack height, because of all the cushion, you're really high up off the ground. And my number one fear was rolling my ankle and hurting myself. That was my number one fear. But to my surprise, I actually roll my ankle more in the Torrent 1. Now, I love the Torrent, not saying anything bad about it, but I actually roll my ankle more in this shoe than I did in this. I didn't roll my ankle once in this shoe, and the traction is awesome. Now, let's talk about what was gold. So, lately, when I run downhill in the Helios, um, I have to be kind of careful on how fast I run down. I have to be really careful on the rocks and I have to be real careful on my foot plant because I can feel every rock. The speed goat though, I didn't feel a thing. I could just fly right down that hill. A couple of times I was flying down, I was holding about a seven minute pace and I didn't have a care in the world of how my foot was landing or what it was landing on. And I was just plowing through those trails. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And even going up the rocky uphills, we're really easy too. It's great traction. It felt really good. I felt really fast on the rocky ups and on the rocky downs. I could really fly. Now let's talk about what's kind of the meh part. Uh, on this trail run, there is kind of this long Jeep road. It's flat. You can really work on your turnover and you can really run fast. And so when I 
got to that Jeep road and I dropped it down to like a 710, seven minute pace. That's where the weight of the shoe, cause it is kind of a heavy shoe. Um, I don't quite know what the weight of the Helios is. I'll put, I'll put it down right back here. But the Speed Goat is kind of in the 10 ounce range. It's a heavy shoe. And when you're just working on your turnover on a flat, trying to run a seven minute pace, you can really feel how heavy this is. And I felt a bit slow in it. So I felt way faster on the downhills and on the rocky uphills. On the flat road section, I felt a little bit slow in it, but it kind of balanced itself out. So I, I kind of like it. And then for the fit, I want that narrow snug fit and the Hope Speed Goat gave it to me. It didn't feel wide. It gave me that snug fit that I wanted, right? It's It has a narrow fit. Um, so if you have a wide toe box and you want to do Hoka, the Torrent might be the one you want. They also make a wide in this shoe too, but this felt great for me. So the fit felt great. Didn't get one blister. Downhill's awesome. Uphill's awesome. Road section felt a little bit slow, but I have a plan for that. The plan is, evo speed goat check out the picture right here the evo speed goat they say fits the same as the speed goat 4 but they have made it a one ounce lighter and they call it kind of their racing shoe so it's on back order right now i've already ordered a pair it should be coming in december so for the rest of this month and next month i will be training in this shoe and then hopefully it comes in december and i'll have my race shoe for bandera 100k in january i'll do a couple runs in it make sure i like it and then a bandera will go for it because this is perfect for flying down those rocky downhills at bandera and getting up those rocky uphills and i'm hoping that the speedgo evo will give me a little bit lighter of a shoe so i can feel great on those jeep road flat sections where i can really run fast so that's my plan with shoes I'm gonna keep training you this. Speed Go 4 was great. I do recommend the Torrent as well and the Helios as well, but for shorter distances. You can do longer on the Torrent, but you know, you just gotta do what's best for you. Anyways, next up, let's talk about my training. So I have three months until Bandera 100K. I am in the extreme portion of my training. I did 53 miles this week, should be at 55 next week, and then close to 60 the following week. Then I have a down week, and then I go through another four week cycle after that. I have a 25 mile race in two weeks, and then I have a 50K race at the end of November, and then December is all about gearing up for the Bandera 100K in the beginning of January. Um, now, my goal pace for Bandera is an 830 minute mile pace. That's my ambitious average pace that I wanna try to hold for that race. Uh, I would also be happy with a nine minute average pace for that as well, so somewhere in there. So minimum nine minute average pace, my ambitious goal is an 8.30 average pace. We'll see how it goes. Uh, today's 20 mile run was at an 8.41 average pace. So that was perfect for where I am in my training. Two weeks ago, I also did another 20 mile run where I averaged about a 7.30 average pace for that run. So I was really happy with that. I'm gonna, the 25 mile race that I'm gonna do in two weeks uh, is on the same course as the Bandera 100K. So it'll give me a chance to really test my legs test my pace, see if I can come close to that 830 average or better out there in the course. And I'll do it in these speed goats just to see how they'll feel on the actual course. Anyways, guys, that's how my train's going so far. No injuries yet. Everything feels good. I'm doing the speed workouts with Team Rogue on Tuesday and Thursday. We're going to do a 10K time trial on Tuesday just to see how much speed I got in my legs. If you want to see how I do, follow me on Strava. Links are down below. Guys, thank you so much for being here. The next video coming out should be a workout video, so be looking for that. Those videos will help you make, get you stronger, faster, and help make you a more injury-free runner. Guys, if you have any questions, post in the comments below. Now, get out there and work out, and I'll see you back here next time. Stay epic, don't forget to be awesome.